Hello, I'm Blaine Marion, and on today's episode of Macaroni Meadows, we're making sauce. So, we grew, uh, we grew a whole bunch of these tomatoes here at Macaroni Meadows. We also bought a bunch from the uh, great people at the farmer's market, and today, we gotta get busy and start making this into sauce. We're gonna be making a couple different varieties of sauce here today. Most of it's just gonna be like a spaghetti sauce, but uh, we also use it for pizza and stuff like that. It's kind of a all-in-one sauce, but we're gonna make a couple different variations. Some spicy, some sweet, so time to get to work. Okay, step one here. We got some water boiling. I'm just gonna pop our tomatoes in there. Boil them for a few minutes and then put them in an ice bath so we can get the skin off. Put quite a few in there. Should be good for now. What's my beautiful wife up to? Getting stuff ready to dehydrate. Dehydrating some herbs. What do you got there? Parsley. Parsley. Mm -hmm. Right on. Summer savory next, I think. We just finished another round of beet tops. And we ground them into a nice powder. Got quite a few now. Almost half a jar. Well, they've been in there for a few minutes. We got a couple that are ready to go in the ice bath. As you can see there, once I get like a split in them, they're ready to go. Cause all we're doing is doing this so we can peel them. I got another pot, just some, some ice packs and I just chuck them in there. We got a few that are ready. Another split one. That one's good to go. And these ones will take a little bit longer. Okay, we got our tomatoes in the ice bath here. Now we just got to take them out. And the peels pretty much just come right off of them. I'm going to keep the peels in this bucket for the chickens. And we'll chuck the tomatoes in a bowl for now. We'll cut the tops off and get them in the, uh, the pot. Okay, we got our first batch all uh, peeled here. We're just gonna cut the tops off, place them in our saucepan for now. Gonna do a couple different things. We're gonna mash some with the masher. We're gonna blend some. See what kind of consistent sauce we can make. These little tops, so let's go to the chickens. Gonna be a big old batch of sauce. Sure does make a mess. Okay, we got them all in the pan here. Now we're just gonna mash them all up. Get in there with your hands. Give them a squish. Don't want to miss the top on that one. There you go, chicken. Mash it all up. Okay, got it all mashed up here. Now we pretty much just got to uh, repeat that process until all the tomatoes are done, which is gonna take a bit of time, but hey, whatever. Put some more in, get them going. See, these tomatoes have little fractures in them just from uh, the cold weather that we've been having. But they're still very useful, especially for making sauce. Well, our sauce is coming along pretty good here. We got uh, about half a pot so far. And now we got some tomatoes in the blender. I've just been mashing those ones by hand. Now we're gonna blend some up here and chuck those into the pot. Go 
doesn't take very long. And look at that. Nice consistency. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to turn the heat on and uh, get that uh, cooking and the rest of them we're just going to blend and dump in the sauce as we go. And turn the heat on to about seven and just let that start to cook. Courtney's been peeling all the garlic and onions for me. We have, uh, we still have a bunch of cilantro and basil that we're going to be putting in all this. so. Still got quite a bit of work to do here, so gonna get after it. We finally got all our tomatoes peeled and we got our sauce starting to boil here. We ended up with almost two big pots full. We're gonna have a lot of sauce. So now we got a little bit of tomato left in the blender. We're gonna add some onion, garlic, basil, and cilantro. Give her. Okay, I'm gonna do something about my hands. Yeah. You want all that in there? Yeah, let's try to shove as much as you can so we can get it all blended down. Okay, let's give her a go here. Try uh, medium. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Now we're gonna add a little bit of water to that and the rest of our uh, stuff. Okay, we'll try again here. Okay. This little mixture we got here smells so good. Mmm. Oof, it's strong too. <laughs> Okay, we'll add the rest in. I like the spice. Okay, we got the last one in there. We're gonna go one more time here. She's almost pretty much blended. I think we will dump some of this into our sauce and then maybe blend it one more time. Ooh, okay, we'll add some of this one. Look at that beautiful stuff. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells amazing. Sorry. And the rest in there. Okay, we'll give that a good stir. Here's your spoon. Mmm, smells pretty good. Sauce. Salt. Now we're just gonna let this cook for probably 45 minutes to an hour, I think, and we'll come back after that. And I almost forgot, we are gonna add some honey into this one from some local people in Hudson Hope. Make this sauce a little bit sweeter. Give her. We don't measure, you measure honey with your heart. 
<laughs> so you just give her. I'm fine with tomato sauce and salsa and all that kind of stuff. I don't follow any kind of recipe. I just put whatever I think is going to taste good in it and then follow like the canning directions. But as far as measuring and stuff, eh, whatever. Good. Uh, no, a couple more. <laughs> Play measures with his, his heart too. Yeah, probably one more scoop like that and that should be good. This honey is yummy. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. Never stir. Yeah, we'll stir that in there. And like I said, we'll let this all kind of simmer and boil here for for a little while. Let it all cook together. Can't wait to taste it. Okay. Okay, our sauce has been cooking here for a little while. I think we're gonna give it a taste. Let's see here. It's pretty hot. All right. Moment of truth. Oh, that is good. Okay. Another spoon. This is the sweeter stuff. I'm gonna give that a try. Oh yeah. The sweet, I like the sweeter stuff better. Mmm, that is so good. Okay, we gotta get some uh, jars sanitized here, so we gotta get this moved and free up a burner. Okay, we got our uh, jars all sanitized here. We're gonna pull them out, set them on the table. Hi, Cash. You like tomato sauce? Good boy. Okay, we're gonna add a tablespoon of lemon juice into each one. Oops, come out fast now. Mm -hmm. Take that little stopper thing out of there. A little bit more. <laughs> a little <laughs> razzle dazzle in that one. There you go. Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna fill our jars with the sauce. Use this measuring cup here. Try not to make a mess. Oh, it's a huge mess. Smells really good. So spicy. Is it even canning if you don't destroy half your kitchen? Oh, I'm making such a mess. Now we're gonna put the lids on, just hand tight, and then we'll get them back in the water bath. Kind of made a bit of a mess, but that's why we got the towels down. Hard to get around to making a mess sometimes. Yeah. Okay, we got them all sealed here. We're gonna go back in the water bath and they gotta be in here for 35 minutes. It's quite a while. We are gonna have a ton of sauce when we're done. Oh, first batch is done here. I'm gonna get them out of the water bath. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, we got our first round out of the water bath. Leave that there to cool. We got another round, getting water baths right now. Some more jars getting sanitized and we still got a full pot of sauce. So, gotta keep going, make some more uh, jars of sauce. Okay, we are finally done all our spaghetti and tomato sauce. We ended up with uh, 37 jars and then one big jar that we're gonna we're gonna use that one right away. We're gonna have it with uh, supper tonight and maybe some stuff tomorrow. So here's the final product. Took almost uh, about four hours to get all this done, but we now have our sauce for the whole winter to enjoy. So 
pretty proud of it. I'm pretty excited to be able to eat this all winter long. Anyways, guys, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And we're all done now. And all the scraps get to go to the ladies. Oh. <laughs> Hear me. Mimi. Mimi, come here, baby. Hey, Mabel.